Hello everybody, Dinky Do, it's just me, Scotty McClure, and we are of course live on Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. This is just a quick Saturday afternoon pop-up to let you know that I shall be live tomorrow evening, Sunday evening at 9 o'clock sharp here on Facebook Live. That's 9 o'clock British Summertime, United Kingdom British Summertime, and I'll be live with you then. Do not miss that program because it's program number 100 in the Scotty McClue shows. How amazing is that? There's Gareth Owen saying hello, hello Gareth. Murray Ramage says hello, hello Murray. Dinky Do, Thomas Hall's watching. Eddie McKenzie, excellent. If I don't manage to get all your shout outs, hey hey Scotty, says Gary Donald. Tremendous, lovely to have you with us. Paul Whiteman, Dinky Do, of course. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty McClue, live just for you. If you want a quick shout out, Feel free to have one. Looking forward to it. Dinky doo, says Rich Kent. Yes, now this is tomorrow. Of course, 9 o'clock sharp, Sunday evening. Excellent stuff. Show number 100. Do not miss it, guys. And share and share and share and share this. Very, very important that every single one of you comes and joins me for that. Now, I popped up yesterday, Friday night, so you'll see the Friday night pop up with Scotty McClue saying dinky doo to every single one of you. Very very important but also spread the word if you can share and 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 share excellent now um, I've also popped up on um, YouTube this afternoon was starting to do more YouTube yesterday I was at a little town in the west of Scotland or as we say in America in the west of Scotland and uh, hi Scotty says Andrew Mackay dinky do Andrew from me Scotty McClue NMDI miss out it is purely excellent Dental, by the way, guys. Well, it's uh, it's uh, the fact that everything goes so fast, moves at a terrific speed. So if you don't get your shout out, then all I can do is apologize. Je apologize, je m'excuse. So there you are. That's all I can say about that. Sean McGart, dinky do, lovely to have you with us, and thank you for that. And I hope you'll all join me tomorrow night at nine o'clock sharp, nine o'clock in the evening, British summer time, United Kingdom, BS tea and uh, that would be absolutely first class also you can see yesterday's pop-up you'll catch up with that on facebook uh abakar sadiq a good job i thank you sir andrea evans hello hello andrea lovely to have you with us and dinky do i know it's very unusual for scotty McClure to pop up on a saturday afternoon i can't remember when i last did it i did do it but it might be about two years ago folks so there you are abakar sadiq says hi i I say hi to you, Abukar. Lovely to have you with us. Never apologize, Scotty. It shows weakness, says Paul Whiteman. How dare you, Paul Whiteman, talk to me like that? So there you are. Yes, no weakness there. I'll tell you that for nothing. Dinky do, says Thomas Hall. Dinky do, Thomas. Nino Verico says hiya. Hello, Nino. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. I hope you are well. So there we are. Uh, lots and lots happening, guys. What I've done on the YouTube, as I say, I was at a little town called Port Glasgow, which was the Port of Glasgow. And there's a replica of the steamship Comet from uh, 1812, Henry Bell, the engineer from Helensburgh, and uh, he brought in, all we'd had before was the Charlotte Dundas on the Forth and Clyde Canal in 1802, because of course, James Watt with his steam engine was in just at the very end of the 1700s, and he went in with Matthew Boulton, and they became Boulton and Watt, <coughs> pardon me, engineers and instrument makers, absolutely outstanding, incredible. Hello from Blackpool, says Stuart MacDonald. Lovely to have you on, Stuart. That is tremendous. Hello from Blackpool. And Dinky Doo from Scotty McClue. Lovely to see and hear so many of you these days. Incredible. It's as if the years have just flashed past. Well, they have done. 26 years this week since Scotty McClue started on Red Rose Radio in Preston and Lancashire. Good, good, says Abacar. Um, hi, Scotty, says Gordon Ruddick. Uh, not used to seeing on a Saturday. Absolutely, Gordon. 
Morgan. Yes, but there we are. It's just a quick pop-up to say hi and dinky-do to every single one of you. Christine Garvin. Hi, Scotty. Three lovely kisses. And I see, I'll take that as a Roman numeral. I'll take that, we'll multiply these three kisses by 100. Wonderful. You did hear about uh, the Roman centurion that went into the pub and ordered five pints. <laughs> five pints. Bertha King Pat is watching. She should be getting herself ready for her 50th birthday party tonight. Tremendous stuff. A lovely lady. And I hope she has a fabulous party tonight. Hello, Scotty, says Thomas Hamilton. Hello, Thomas. Love you, Dinky Doo, says Christine Garvin. Me too, Christine. Bless you. Lovely to have you with us in Dinky Doo. Hello from Alaska, says Sean McIntyre. Sean McIntyre up in Alaska there. Remember that this broadcast is is global and we are right across the world. Looking down at Scotty's, says Sammy Stewart. Sammy Dinky Do, Sammy Short for Samantha there. How lovely is that? And Dinky Do to Samantha, lovely to have you with us. Um, there, Abacar's giving his number. Uh, lovely Abacar, thank you for that. But um, no need to give your personal numbers out on air, but lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do, I say, from Scotty McClue. Hello, pal. How was your birthday, says Thomas Hamilton? My birthday was outstanding, Thomas. Tremendous. 41 years of age. Uh, my Facebook uh, page there. Give my partner Gareth Owen a wee shout, says Christine. Gareth Owen, dinky do to you. One of the luckiest people on the planet. Uh, marvelous stuff. You both are, actually. I can tell you that for nothing. Right. Um, if you're joining us, do feel free to come on. There is no rush. It was just to be a very, 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 very quick pop-up. But there's absolutely no rush. Saturday afternoon and um, all the housework's done the washing's done and it's out hello Scotty says Karen Helford I missed that there Karen Susan Forrest watching dinky do lovely to have you with us down in Lancashire there the home of Red Rose Radio all these 26 years ago who would believe it? My goodness me. There we are, cameraman just moving about there. Excellent stuff. So, if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You are watching Scotty McClue. See you tomorrow. Whoop, whoop. Nine bells. So, Sammy Stewart. Absolutely. Nine o'clock sharp for show 100 on Facebook Live. And uh, over two and a half million of you have watched these shows. How amazing is that? Can't believe it's show 100, says Christine Gav. I know, Christine. It has just gone in a flash and so much fun we've had doing these shows. I think if uh, a lot more of the mainstream media had as much fun as we have uh, doing these shows, then uh, our television and radio would be a lot more interesting to watch and listen to. Hello, Scotty, says Andrew Nixon. Dinky do, Andrew. Lovely to have you with us. Good afternoon, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. Guys, can you always set your um, notifications to let yourself know when Scotty McClue is live? Because I do pop up randomly from time to time. We have the odd random pop-up. So there you are. It's um, 34 years since I joined ITV, 34 years next week, also 26 years next week since I uh, started the Scotty McClue Massive Mighty Mega Foot-Ins on Red Rose. And there's a lot more to come, guys. I can't reveal too much, but there's a lot more to come. So there you are. In fact, you might even see the best is yet to come. How amazing is that? Show 100, please, says Abakir Sadiq. Tomorrow night, Abakir, at 9 o'clock sharp, Facebook Live. Set your notifications, and you can join me, Scotty McClue, on Facebook Live then. It is Saturday afternoon. I know a lot of you will be off and out doing marvellous things, but if you have got access to your Facebook, come and join me. Lovely to have you with us. Do you wear bow ties, Scotty, says Sammy Stewart. I do, Sammy from time to time you will see a Scotty McClue show with the bow tie in fact um, Friday night special Scotty McClue Friday night special put that into your YouTube and you will see me in an aubergine velvet bow tie 
Hi, Scotty. Can you say hi to Kirsty Dobson from Jumbo? Thank you. Jim, I can. Jim Watson there saying hi to Kirsty Dobson. Dinky-doo. We can say that. Not a problem at all. So there we are. Now, uh, last night we popped up. You'll see 6,000 of you have seen the show uh, so far. That was terrific. Um, coming up for 18,000 have seen the shows this week. So that's very good. You should have been the new presenter of The Right Stuff, says Andrew Mackay. Ah, question time is the one for me. Andrew. Like your tie, pal. Ah, dinky do. Thank you very much. There we are. Do people still wear their ties like that? And do you remember for a while there was a habit of wearing your tie out over the front of the jumper? <laughs> no, seriously. I kid you not. People did the, the tie out over the front of the jumper. Amazing stuff. I've seen some belters recently. Uh, you should have been the presenter of Top Gear. Wow. You would have seen, seen me for dust. Get it? <laughs> So there you are. You would have seen me for dust. I would have had to get off my mark. Uh, Top Gear, that would have been good stuff. Uh, brilliant. Get the big beasts out there. I never forgave Margaret Thatcher for getting rid of the P5B rovers. Well, that was absolutely shocking. That was the P5B, wasn't it? The great big ones. She thought she might um, let herself down getting in and out of them. Uh, but, I mean, who, who would have bothered? I mean, nobody was going to look, for goodness sake. Thanks, Scotty. This is Jim Watson. Not at all, Jim. An absolute delight and a pleasure. Now, what I've done, guys, I was on YouTube just before we popped up there, and um, I uh, talked about something that many of you will know absolutely zero about just time-wise. I talked about the Cloyd steamers. And do you remember the Clyde steamers? Are you the stig? I might be John Adams. I couldn't reveal that, of course. I would never be so base as to reveal that. So there you are. If I was the stig, <laughs> excellent stuff. Get myself into the, 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 the white jumpsuit there and, uh, and the crash helmet and all the rest of it. So you'd never ever recognize me. Wonderful. Get off my mark. That's what it's all about. So there you go. I did enjoy Top Gear, though. Good stuff. Good stuff. Excellent. Uh, a very, very good program. I haven't seen it um, in, in, its, in its new reconstituted form. I'm, I'm of two minds about reconstituting programs. I mean, uh, we've had uh, the wonderful David Dimbleby doing uh, BBC's Question Time for a long, long time now. Uh, but I can go back to Robin Day. Sir Robin Day, um, Oxford graduate and all the rest of it. I can actually remember him. Uh, so there you are. Any any of the rest of you remember Robin Day on Question Time? Very, very good. Um, particularly when he interviewed Sir John Knott, the Defence Secretary at the time of the Falklands. So uh, that kind of thing. So look out for that one. Uh, Jeremy Paxman, of course, another great broadcaster, great interviewer. Terrific stuff. Hello, Scotty. You're looking lovely as per usual, says Rab. Thank you, Rab. Very, very nice of you to say so. Uh, so that's what's happening tomorrow night, 9 o'clock sharp, Scotty McClure live on Facebook Live. Uh, like how the Scottish canals have opened up, says Sammy Stewart. Yes, I can remember my father, he had a bit of a a long face. He didn't have a long face. I mean, he wasn't, he didn't look like a horse or a giraffe or anything like that. But he had a bit of a long face one Friday night. He said, that's the fourth and Clyde Canal closing. And that was, uh, that was, uh, John Adams says, Rab's cracking on to you, Scotty. And we'll keep an eye out for that sort of thing. Don't worry. Okay. Says Abakar Sadiq. Absolutely okay, Abakar. Not a problem. But, um, what you had there, the 4th of Clyde Canal was closing, and anybody know the year? So there you are. I can tell you exactly what it was. It was a Friday evening, and we were um, heading over to our guile, uh, and uh, he, he was talking about that. I can remember Robin Cousins, says so Steve Burrows. Yes, the skater, wonderful. Uh, so there we are. Lol, John, says Rab. <laughs> Very good, Rab. Right. You you can talk amongst yourselves. So there we go. Now, um, what else can I tell you? Yes, so I visited a town called Port Glasgow, yesterday and uh, did a little just a, a, a oh, barely a minute or two about uh, the the comet that sits there so we've done that thanks says abacar well it actually says thanks it's a very posh thanks i uh, thanks thanks very much <laughs> very posh but uh, you know we can look at that as well so i'll be popping up 
on YouTube from time to time. You'll get me on LinkedIn if you're a business person. Heading over to Dunoon to visit the mall, says John Adams. I'm not sure if that's a tourist attraction or your mother. Port Glasgow, says Louis Faber. Yes, absolutely. I visited Port Glasgow yesterday. So you'll see it on YouTube. You go on to the Scotty McClure YouTube channel. Oh, can every single one of you go on there and subscribe please. All right. Now, please do help out. You've been so wonderful at sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing. Uh, so there we are. So John Adams, more information, please. Right. He says the more. Everyone know what the more might be. It sounds to me like a Scottish term. Uh, excellent stuff. Uh, friend request. Thank you very much. So there we are. I'll jo oh, I wasn't quick enough. I was just to confirm that, Andrew. I was just going to do that there. Have you been to the Helix of the Falkirk Wheel? says Sammy. I was heading for the Falkirk wheel at one point, but uh, I got to uh, wheelie and I had to press on, so I didn't get to see it. Uh, Port Glasgow, life expectancy of 52, says Louis Faber. Well, I was there yesterday and I'm over that, Louis. Um, I've uh, seen the Comet, Scotty, says uh, Christine Garvin. The Comet, ah, the Comet, C-O-M-E-T, Chris. Yeah, the Comet, absolutely, you've seen her there. That's a replica, that was built in 1962 at Lithgow's Yard, uh, the yard of uh, Sir James Lithgow, Sir Henry, and Henry Lithgow. And, um, and, and Sir William Lithgow, their yard, Lithgow's yard, wonderful, wonderful boat builders, built so many ships and uh, engined them and all that sort of thing. And uh, in 1962, their craftspeople built that replica of the comet and they sailed across the Clyde in it with the Provost of Green at the Lord Provost Sir Simpson Stevenson. And um, I think it was probably quite a, an interesting voyage, shall we say, by the look of it. When's your birthday, says Louis Faber? It's just been Louis, so you've just missed it there. A big, big day on Facebook Live. 300 lovely people wished Scotty McClue a happy birthday. How gorgeous is that? Mother lives there, Scott. Ah, John, I see, I see, I beg your pardon. I wondered what the mall was. I thought it was some sort of attraction in Dunoon, but obviously it is if it's mother. So excellent. Lovely. So you get yourself across there. You'll not be going to remember. If you were going to Danoon, you used to be able to pick up all sorts of boats. You would say, oh, we've missed the ferry. We've missed the car ferry, the Aaron, the Buttes, or the Cowell. And you say, not to worry, there's the Loch Fine going. We'll get her across. Or there's the Duchess of Hamilton or the Waverley. Oh, that's a thing. It was wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. So there you are. That was the, the busy days of the cloud steamers. But I've talked about that. And I've talked about the background to turbine steamers in my broadcast. Just a few moments are there. It'll be lucky if it's even had time to upload onto YouTube. But get yourself onto the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. You'll see the URL right there in the opening para, right? So if you look down, guys, you'll see it. Also, if you're feeling flush and you can spare a fiver or a tenner, it helps to grow the show. That's how we got this beautiful camera and tremendous equipment, right? Because a lot of you helped out. As you know, I've put hundreds of thousands of pounds into broadcasting and made millions of pounds for media moguls. Uh, not that I got a great share of it right enough, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, walking dogs, I saw the Govan Seagull. Uh, so great to see so many canal boats now, says Sammy. Absolutely, Sammy. Uh, I know where cheap tickets are sold, says John. Excellent, John. Keep it to yourself and whisper it in my shell like. So there we go. Wonderful. That's what. Does anybody remember the hovercraft? I'll bet you don't. The hovercraft that went from Guruk to Danoon. I've seen plenty of steamers in my time, Scotty, says Rob Hill. Yes, you will, Rob, because you live near to the Clyde. So there you are. So you will have seen them in your time. There's absolutely no doubt about that. And um, also, what else can I tell you? Follow me on LinkedIn. There's a good few thousand of you on LinkedIn. And uh, if you're a business person and you want to hook up, do that. I've also got a Scotty McClue business Facebook page. So have a look at that, guys, if you want me to open your FET or chair your conference or chair your company or make your advert or appear in your commercial, do the voiceover. 
all that sort of stuff. We do all the accents, of course. So there you are. So you can uh, you can look at that. Any accent you want, McClure will produce it for you in your commercial. But it interests me because look at the voices in some of the commercials on television. Look at the appearances of some of the commercials on television and say, would I buy anything from that person? But you'd buy something from Scotty McClure because you know I have a track record of huge integrity towards every single one of you. There we are. Excellent stuff. And uh, who have we got? J.P. McCusker, Dinky Do, Very, very fine fellow. Lovely to have you with us. This is just a quick pop-up, guys. I won't hang around and take up your very valuable Saturday, but I did want to say hi, and I wanted to remind you that uh, tomorrow night at 9 o'clock sharp, Facebook Live, be there or be square. Never, ever, ever miss a second of Scotty McClue. You miss a second of Scotty McClue. You miss a moment of life. I say to every single one, of you. Dinky do. Have a gorgeous day. Tara the new. 